The penny sales tax is really sprucing up school campuses, you may have noticed, but a pop of color hitting Wellington Landings Middle School has come entirely for free. The Now's Ashley Walters explains why two artists feel compelled to bring colorful life to school walls. In the space between math and English, a fresh idea is blooming. We're actually timing the bell so that we know when the kids are coming through. Ernest Cole Trent and Nick Ringelstetter have donated their time to teach a lesson they wish they'd learned at this age. Subconsciously plant in their heads that they can do whatever they want when they grow up. With self-taught talent, they're painting four murals at Wellington Landings Middle School. Neither went to school here, but both identify with this age. Walking by the murals, seeing they add depth and color to the school especially. As a canvas to paint on, a school definitely has its challenges with textured brick walls and of course the elements. But these artists insisted that the students be present and able to watch as they painted here on campus. That is the, the end goal is to find little versions or young versions of me that I can help push forward. It's nice to see how everything is being created and just how things come alive in the school. <laughs> the kids are funny. They're like, Every, everywhere needs a mural. We should put one in the cafeteria. We need one in the bathroom. They want murals everywhere. And reminding teachers they can be the key to the future. So my middle school art teacher is actually who inspired me to continue on with my, my whole path. Offering a bright idea long after the paint has dried. <laughs> In Wellington, Ashley Walters, WPTV News Channel 5. So great how they did that in full view so everybody could experience the progress. Great story, Ashley. Those artists do hope to paint 50 free murals at schools all across the country, and Wellington Landings was the first.